Hello my good people. Today I want to buy some cryptocurrencies using Binance app. You can download Binance app from the Play Store. It's there. Or you can search it on Google. You search binance.com and then you'll be able to sign up. Once you have signed up, you are required, you are required to verify your account using your national ID. Once you verify your account, you'll be able to buy Bitcoin, you can buy Ethereum, BNB, and other cryptocurrencies through peer-to-peer -peer P2P. So today, I'll be buying Tether. So let me open my Binance app. This is how Binance app look like. So once it's opened, you click here more. And then we look for P2P. It's right here. So, as you can see, we have people who are selling cryptocurrencies. There are those who are selling BTC. That's Bitcoin. Others are selling Tether. These are the coins that are sold here. So let me select the coin that I want to buy. I want to buy USDT, which is Tether. And then we select the amount of money that we want to buy. I want to use around 3,000 Kenyan shillings, so I'll confirm. Then you come here for payment method. I'm using M-Pesa. So there are other payments methods that you can use. You can use bank, which you have equity, cooperative, you have standard chartered, or you can use M-Pesa. So I'll select M-Pesa. Then I confirm. And then now we can select the buyer that we want to buy from. So as you can see, one tether is going for 130 shillings. The last time I bought it was going for 129, so it has gone up with one shillings. So I'll select the third one. Yes, so for 3000 shillings, you can see here for 3000 Kenya shillings, we are getting 23 USDT. So we read the terms of the buyer. It has the MPESA name of the buyer, weekly for Donio. So it's written there, it's only MPESA to MPESA, so we are okay because even as we are using MPESA to buy, then we click our order. We place an order. So when you click the order, you can see the name of the buyer and the phone number that we are supposed to use to pay. And once we have paid the 3,000 shillings, the buyer will be able to release the USDT to us. So I'll copy the number. And then I pay the 3,000 So let's send the money to the seller. Three thousand. You can buy as low as one from one thousand Kenya shillings all the way. So if you have one thousand, you can be able to buy a cryptocurrency in this finance app. So we confirm, we send the money. This is Odoyo. So the buyer has listed the names. It can be Liz Odoyo or Weekly for Odoyo. So let's say yes, we send 3000. Then we wait for the investor message. Mm 
Yeah, it's paid. You can see confirmed, 3,000 cent to Liz Odoyo. So now we go back to the app. And then now we can transfer, you can, you can click here where it's written transferred, notify the seller because we have already paid. So we click there. So the buyer need us to upload a payment proof. So we'll go back to our message. Then we can screenshot the message. Then we edit the message, then we can down we can upload. So let me edit the message. We crop. Mm. That's okay. Then we save. And now I'll I'll just upload the the screenshot. So we select image. And then we send the screenshot. It's okay. As you can see, we have already sent. So I click transfer. Then we notify the seller. So now all we have to do is just wait for the seller to release the tether. As we can see up here, we are, the, the seller was seen one minute ago. So we hope that the seller is online. So we'll be waiting for the seller to release the money and then we'll get that money in our account. Uh, if you go back here, you can see I only have $1.56. That's around 237 bob Kenyan shillings or so. So once the seller releases the money, the total value will definitely change. So the prices keep on changing sometimes. So guys, after like three minutes, uh, we can see that our Binance value has changed. And now I have $24.61. So you can buy any cryptocurrencies within like five minutes and you are done. All you have to do is have money in your Mpesa. Then you come here. Then you buy the coin that you want. It's simple as that. So as you can see, our order history here. We bought USDT worth 3,000 Kenyan shillings and we got 23 USDT. We have completed that order. You can decide to leave a feedback. You say it was first transaction. You leave that comment for that buyer. 
and that is it guys see you in the next one thank you for watching